this month. Welcome to my channel where I like to talk about budgeting, money, and everything finance. If you're into that kind of thing, then please stick around and we will get right into the video. It's April 30th, the end of the month, and what a tumultuous month this has been. This month has been financially insane and it started out so well. The last week, things just took a turn and it's just, it just didn't work out in my favor. Let's just say that. So. I'm just gonna get straight into the numbers. I made $2,200 from my side hustle. That bumped my monthly income up this month to $8,536.66. So that is what I had to work with for the month of April. By the last week of April, I had gone up $2 over budget for discretionary spending and I was killing it. I was so excited. It was looking great. And then something happened at our apartment that made it so that we have to move. So we are actually going to be moving in June and that puts us in a weird position because we'll be paying two rents. As you guys know, Seattle rent is not cheap, so that is not ideal. Um, the fees with signing a new lease and you know the credit checks and all that came into play. Another big change that happened this month is that I went to the dentist. You guys know I grew up on the poor side. You have to cut corners and one of those corners cut was dental insurance. I didn't have dental insurance growing up and the last time I had been to a dentist, um, I was 11 years old and I am 29 now. But luckily, because I am very on top of my dental hygiene, I, you know, got my cleaning, it was fine, but I do need braces as an adult. And we came up with a slight comprehensive plan that will total $4,000. I paid it all out right out of my checking account because I don't want to add another bill to my monthly budget. That's more than I spent the whole first quarter of 2022. Now my second quarter is going to be significantly higher. It's kind of a setback. Um, adult braces, that was a big wrench in my plan, but it's paid for now. And in the future, if you guys see me on here speaking with a list, it's because I have to put on my trays and because I paid that money, it's it's gonna be in there. So bear with me. On a positive note, I did save $2,000. I put $2,000 in my Fidelity account and immediately, immediately, the stock market tanked again. Um, it, they were at lows and they went even lower. So lost that money in the market. Um, I'm down so much money. It's like worse than 2020 levels. I know I said this was gonna be a positive, but man, I guess it's not. Financially, I've been getting my butt kicked. My stock market portfolio is so low. I'm just gonna show you guys that in a separate video. My numbers, I really hope things get better because this month, <laughs> my side hustle, it came out to $2,200 this month and I was able to make $2,600 for the next month. And discretionary spending wise, I spent $402 not bad i'm not mad at it at all um well before the dental bill after the dental bill i started just spending because there were things that i needed so as you guys know i joined a boxing gym it's expensive um i said that it was going to be 160 a month but i actually ended up becoming a member so that's a 220 dollar bill each month i work from home as you guys know it comes with trade-offs so because of that i did join that gym and man has it been really helping me mentally just having something to look forward to twice a week and boxing is fun it actually gives me a lot of confidence um i feel a lot less scared when i'm walking around you know the streets without my fiance um it's just really helping me so I feel like that's a good expense for me. I'm gonna definitely keep up with it. I guess the last thing that I'll talk about in this video is I paid for a mini vacation. Um, I did say that I wasn't going to pay for any travel this year because I'm focused on paying off my student loans, but I started getting very fidgety and just feeling trapped. I did go to a cabin um, in the mountain for Easter with my fiance and we stayed for two nights and it was amazing. And so we're doing that again for Memorial Day. We are gonna be going to a cabin in the woods and doing a lot of hiking and we're bringing our dog and our friends are coming and they're bringing their dog and 
it's just something to look forward to for the month of May and just something to kick off the summer months and I just really look forward to you know hanging out with these friends again I haven't seen them for so long since I moved to Denver in 2020 and I'm in Washington now it's 2022 so I haven't seen them in two years I'm just I'm looking forward to just being around some like-minded people and being social having a normal aspect of my life <laughs> getting some hiking in you guys know I love hiking that bill came out to be $1,200 so that is how I came up to a whopping $5,862 and 28 cents spent in the month of April that is how much I spent in the month of April and it's not ideal just as a recap I'm moving at the end of June or mid-June I'm going on a trip at the end of May. I'm getting braces in the middle of May. All of that totals around five grand spent in the month of April. Because I did spend the money up front, I didn't use any credit. I, you know, it's one and done. My finances are taken care of. I don't have to worry about any, you know, reconciliation later on. It does still, you know, put me back a little bit in terms of my goals. I still have a goal of saving $30,000 and I am at 11,000 right now. So hopefully things with my side hustle pick a little, pick it back up or, you know, I'll just go looking for more streams of income, but I do want to be able to pay my loans off this year still. Um, I know there's rumblings of the president's for giving like 10 grand of it. I'm not relying on that. I don't, I'll believe it when I see it. In the meantime, I'm just going to keep throwing money towards it and trying to be positive even though this month threw me a few curveballs. <laughs> I earned $8,536.66 this month. I saved $2,000 of that and semi-lost it in the stock market. And I spent $5,862.28. That leaves me with a total of $674.38 in my bank account in my checkings account yeah let me know what you guys think of my numbers they can't all be winners hopefully may will be better money wise um but things are going to be a little iffy until after we move in to our new apartment and we're done paying two rents so with that in mind i'm really just gonna have to earn more money and keep my spending within reason and that's all i can really do i think having a goal of spending less than 20 grand in discretionary spending or things that come up for the year is pretty realistic to me but I'm just hoping it doesn't get in the way of my savings so that's all for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys learned something if you did leave a comment down below leave a like if you liked it a dislike if you didn't and I will see you in the next video